Have you heard the story about Megan Trainer and the two toilets? <laughs> uh, briefly. Okay. I saw her, I think it was Instagram of uh, her sitting on a toilet with a toilet next to her. And so, yes, I've heard, I know a little bit of it. Go ahead. Okay. So she was talking to Jimmy Fallon about it. And uh, yes, two toilets in one bathroom. And uh, let's listen on in. You know, we, we, you get up all throughout the night with a baby and you got to pee. And there were so many moments where I was like, move, you know, I was like, I have to go. Yeah. And so when we moved to this new house, I was like, I have an extra toilet. Can I just pop them next to each other? And the plumber like giggled. And I was like, I don't see why you're laughing. Like, just do it. Get it done. And they did it. And like, it's the best thing I ever did. So she also said that they only number one next to each other because they number two next to each other. And it was weird. That's still bizarre. I mean, the photo, they're really close to each other. They showed the Mm -hmm. photo there on Fallon. And if he's standing up and she's sitting down, I don't know. Do you remember the Saturday Night Live parody? Was it the love toilet? Oh, it was like two toilets in one where you were like back to back and or side it wasn't side by side but you were like somehow closer to each other it was one toilet but two seats does that sound familiar yes and yeah right they're like back to back or just phil hartman was the voiceover i think right 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 yeah that's good it's not that romantic looking now no this isn't nearly as deluxe as the snl double toilet um now this says because she was talking to some podcast about it right And the quote here, this quote was pulled by the Hollywood reporter. She said, we got two toilets sitting next to each other and we've only pooped together twice. We pee Mm. at the same time a lot. So did did she go on to revise the actual uh, truth there on her Instagram? Because I think her Instagram post came after the fact. Maybe, maybe. Okay. I just feel like they're going to have other bathrooms in the house, right? Why can't you use other bathrooms? If you only had one bathroom in the house... That's what but, I would think. Or if you've got uh, a master bedroom, and it's like, well, we want to be able to sleep in the same room and the toilet's right there, just tack on another full bathroom, right? Right. I mean, because that's gross. It's a, it's a new level of intimacy. Yeah. Yeah. Double toilets sitting next to each other, or potentially Megan sitting and him standing, which sounds just ripe with peril. I don't think I would, would recommend this. <laughs> Matt, did you know that sounds are trademarked? Sounds are trademarked. Yes. Oh, go on. I found a list of sounds that are trademarked, uh, like the uh, two-note gong on Law & Order. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Dun, dun. Okay, that's trademarked. Mm -hmm. Homer Simpson's do, that's trademarked. Okay. Okay, here's one that's even weirder. Darth Vader's breathing in Star Wars. Yeah, that actually makes a decent bit of sense. Okay. Tarzan's yell from the 1932 movie, Tarzan the Ape Man. Can you do it, Kate? I can't do it. I was going to ask you. Uh, Come on. Oh, right. Something like that. What do you think? um, Not not close. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Affleck's duck quack. Affleck. Yep, that's okay. trademarked. Uh, the AOL, you've got mail. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that voice in far too long. You've got mail. Uh, Pillsbury Doughboy's giggle. Woohoo! Do you know his name? Did you know the Doughboy has an actual name? I did not know that, no. I didn't either, but you want to know what it is? Pillsbury Doughboy's name. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Poppin' Fresh. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Poppin' Fresh. You did know that? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know that. I just... Yeah. Damn it. Once upon a time, I knew it, and then it left my brain until just now, and it came back it in. Evacuated. Yeah, yeah. This sound, I think, how would you trademark it, but okay, the ticking from 60 Minutes. Okay, yeah, it's probably a very precise ticking noise yeah yep sounds that were trademarked who knew do you like my ticking clock sound effect 
It kind of sounded like a pacifier. Oh. Womp womp. Womp womp. But I get it. You're probably not used to the pacifier sound. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people keep their babies away from me. Turns out. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> I'm trying to think, see yep. if there's any others on here. Oh, the Taco Bell bell. Dong. Yeah. Now they're trade. Yeah, so you could, you could, it's, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to have a bell noise anywhere else. It's just you right. can't lift and brand around that exact noise. Or I suppose if McDonald's wanted to have a bell sound effect, right. they'd get in trouble if their bell sound effect sounded too much like Taco Bell's, but. Right. Why would McDonald's want to be associated with Taco Bell? Right. Yeah. The other one that I, I mean, I assume it was a trademark, but it's just weird that it's a sound. Da, 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 da. Oh, ESPN. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah, so you can trade, you can trademark basically, uh, basically a little, a, a little thing. Like, ba, 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 ba. Probably has a trademark mm-hmm. to it. Right. Right. So interesting. Trademarking sounds. Sounds that are trademark. Kate, have you seen the red flag emoji on the internet a lot recently? No. Is this in your world? Okay. Not in my world. This may just be a Twitter thing. Yeah, we talked before about how I'm not so much into Facebook, but I'm way into Twitter. And so I noticed a whole bunch of red flags started popping up. People would post something, and then there'd be a ton of red flags. And then I would go, "Uh, I'm too, I can't figure this out. I'm too dumb to understand what's happening here with these red flags. And then luckily, <laughs> I ran into actually a couple of thought pieces Okay. on the uh, red flag, or a couple of explainers. I guess they're not really thought pieces. Did you run into them or did you seek them out? No, I actually just ran into them as I was flipping through okay. uh, my tech feed. Okay. Yeah. Folks on Twitter are using red flag emoji to talk about what they consider warnings. Right. So you throw up red flags, you know, like, a, oh, that was a red flag. Right. And so, for example, uh, going all day without talking to me. This is from Ina, who then posted, like, I'll say 25 red flag emoji after, after that. Um, this one's good from PG. Text, this is all caps, text slow, but always on social media. And then a ton of red flag emoji. Which makes sense, right? You text someone, and you're like, well, I'm not hearing back from them. And then meanwhile, you see that they're blowing up their Insta and... Mm-hmm. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the final example they cite here, quote, me and my ex are still friends. And then a ton of red flag emoji, Kate. Red flag. So there you go, the red flag emoji. If you've been wondering why all these red flags are popping up on the old... It's a, it's a new meme, Kate. I get it. And we try to stay up to date on our memes here on Matt and Kate. I get it. I'm going to start using it. And do you have, can you uh, imagine a scenario when you could, in which you could use it like on Monty, on your husband? Mm. Throw a bunch of red flags at him. He sends you a message maybe and then you Not respond. Not as many as I'm sure he could throw at me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Red flag. Mm. No, I really can't. I'm trying to think like. I'm putting you on the spot, so. I know. He's kind of a saint though, Matt. Truth be told, he's pretty much a saint. Womp womp. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's good for me, but... For anyone that's trying to, uh, you know, get after your husband, I guess, womp womp. Right? I mean, he probably could throw a lot of red flags at me. Uh, any examples you can think of? Things mm. that you would say or do to him? He'd red flag emoji you? Spends a lot of money. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> Doesn't like to do dishes. Hey, I was examining the backyard and where to put the pool. Red flag emojis. Red flag, right? All right, Kate. So after the show yesterday, you sent me a link to the trailer for the new Home Alone, Home Sweet Home Alone, which is headed to, where was it going again? I already forget. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Like a month from now. Yep. Like November 12th, I think. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, What did you think? You know, I didn't think it looked terrible. Yeah, it looked better than I better than I thought, for sure. It looked better than I thought. Yes, it's the premise of a husband and wife 
breaking into the house. Uh, there's there's going to be some backstory there, right? Where they're like broke and really have to figure yes. out a way to. She seems more the mastermind than he does. Right. He seems like he'll be uh, like the foil or something. Uh, interesting. The clip, you know, there's all yeah, the Marv. Good job. Mm-hmm. Thanks. So there's different traps this time around, right? So like last time, like putting out the micro machines that they slipped and whatever and mm-hmm. the ice mm-hmm. and the uh, paint cans coming down. Like he concocted like this gun that shoots out pool balls. Right. And tagged the burglar right in the face, right in the forehead with it. Right. And he also gets the trampoline involved. Trampoline involved. And uh, it looks like it might be okay. This reboot. I think it looks cute. Home Alone, Home Sweet. Home Alone. Uh, once again, I'm pointing up. Let me see if I can find the thing from yesterday. Yeah, there it is. Archie Yates, the name of the 10 year old, uh, the actor who plays the 10 year old, Max Mercer, and the other people, Rob Delaney. Ellie Kemper are the uh, two other main stars, I guess. They're the bad guys. Also has, uh, that's right, the bad guys. Uh, mm-hmm. Pete Holmes is the dad? Is that right? Mm-hmm. And then Ashling B is the mom? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so uh, the kid has a British accent, the mom has a British accent. And Yeah. Yes, I think so. I know the kid has a British accent. I know that she's an Irish actress. Okay. But I'm trying to remember gotcha. if so she had the British accent. Yeah. Close enough. Foreigners. Close enough. Right. Put them in a lineup. A few people would get them right. Europeans. So the kid inherited the accent from his mom. Right. <laughs> That's what we're learning. But did you notice who the uh, either security guard or the cop at the beginning is? In the trailer? Mm, not, no, I don't remember. Buzz. Oh, really? Yeah, and it showed his uh, name tag, McAllister. Oh, look at that. little uh, it's Buzz. A uh, Easter egg. Yes. There. Look at that. Okay. Uh, Buzz, who played Kevin's older brother? Yeah. In Home Alone. Yeah. In the original. And since I got this article back in front of me, yes, confirming that November 12th, the release date. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Yep. Gather the family around on Thanksgiving. Watch a film. Yeah, Thanksgiving is a good time to get into the uh, the Christmas films, even though you're, uh, you got to wait until Thanksgiving's over to decorate person, right? Yes. But uh, Thanksgiving dinner, watch a holiday flick. It's, that's allowed, right? The Kate household? Or no? Uh, no, there's no TV on during dinner. Well, after dinner, maybe. Or, oh, or leading football. up to dinner. Oh, football. Football, okay. Yeah. All right, so no gathering the family around the TV set to watch Home Sweet Home Alone at Kate's house. Maybe Sunday after Thanksgiving. Going to watch some football. Yep. The Chiefs play it that day? I don't think so. They usually don't play on Thanksgiving. Yeah, there's been a couple of years, but... They they usually do not play on Thanksgiving. Double checking just to be sure here. I think you are probably right. Yeah, they play the Cowboys the Sunday before Thanksgiving. Okay. Good job, Kate. All over it. Thank you. I have the You're schedule welcome. right in front of me, but I was trying to find the NFL, the lineup. So you've got the Bears. The Lions always play on Thanksgiving. Right. I don't know why. It's like a rule. The Lions. Detroit always play. And the Cowboys. On Thanksgiving. And the Cowboys, and usually right. the Reds, uh, the Washington football team, but they're not. Oh, that was close, Kate. That was close. So we've got the Bears at Detroit, and then you've got the Raiders at the Cowboys, and then the Bills at the Saints. That's your primetime game. Those are good games. I don't remember the Washington football team being a team that did it on a regular basis. I know like D- Detroit and Dallas have had it for years and then just within maybe the last 10 years they added the third game and then right. I'm not sure what dictates that third game. But. Yeah. I'm not sure but um yeah the cow it's for my memory I always thought I remember the Cowboys playing Washington because Thanksgiving. They're in the same division so there's a good chance that they would line up to play each other, right? Right. Uh you only have 16 games. And with two, two, it'd be two of the games, right? Yeah. So. They have 18 games now, Matt. Did you know that? 
Is that right? So are they doing 18 mm-hmm. games this year? They are. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. I think I heard about that potentially being a thing that was going to happen. See, I've been, I've kind of checked out on football. Yeah. Womp womp. Womp womp. Yeah, just for whatever reason, within the past few years, my care for sports has just tanked. I don't know what's happened to you. I don't know either. I think it's just like a time issue. Yeah, and, and as long as it's, you know, you're okay with it and your life around you is not falling apart because of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I still I still understand the rules of everything. I haven't purged that yes. out of my brain, so I'm still able to yeah. watch these sports with other people. You know, communal sports watching I can enjoy. But uh, for whatever reason, I just, I'm, I'm, I don't care to watch at home anymore. It does not dictate your social life either. I still follow like Patrick Mahomes on Twitter, for example, and I'll still follow the news a little bit, but as far as watching yeah. it, I just don't, I just seemingly don't care anymore. But you're not like, hey, Chiefs are at Washington this weekend, games at noon, we should have people over for the game. Yeah, that's not so much your thing. Right. Yeah. It's not the anchor of the social, I guess I should say. Not quite right. Although, yeah, kind of miss hanging out with people, so maybe that is something to do. Maybe you have to force it. Force it how? Force it that you don't care, but you're going to pretend like you care so that you can be around people. I bet you if I fired up a game, if I started watching a game, I would get into it pretty quick. You know? Yeah. Yeah, football's so quick and exciting, you know, so... But, uh, <laughs> Did you just call football quick? Yeah, it moves quick. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Do you think football moves slow? It's not like it's baseball. Oh, yes. It's so slow, though. Oh, okay. Run a play, wait. <laughs> Run a play, wait. Two minute warning. That means it's 15 more minutes. <laughs> you feel like when you're watching a game, you're like, man, this game's dragging on? Yes. Really? Okay. Yes. I thought that there was enough action that, yeah, even though you have your 30 seconds between plays. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I just don't, yeah. Especially since you're such a football aficionado. Mm-hmm. Aficionado? Mm-hmm. Aficionado. It's okay. Uh, no, thanks. Notre Dame, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then uh, yeah. Lifetime Chiefs, Chiefs fan, I assume, too? Or? Yeah. So, yep. 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 There yep. it is. You watch lots there of college is. football, too? We do usually. In general? We do usually. Mm -hmm. Not just Notre Dame? Not just Notre Dame. Usually Saturday night primetime game. Watch that. It's a football Um, house at Kate's. It is. It is a football house. We watch NFL games that aren't the Chiefs, too. And yet you don't have the uh, multiple TVs in the living room, right? Nope, we don't. You had it at the apartment, but the other one was reserved for Mario Kart or something. Is that right? No. uh, One was hooked up to cable. One was hooked up to the DVD player. Oh, okay. And so I've got a big tube TV that I think I want to try to hook up the Wii to. Oh, yes. I still haven't done it. And we've got another TV that we're talking about putting in the garage or putting on the deck. Haven't done it yet. So just the one TV. Yeah. I recommend a deck TV. Yeah. Deck TV is nice. And then, yeah, you can move it into the garage during the winter time if you're worried about components freezing up or something. Right. Yeah, I can recommend that. My, I got my TV on my deck still. We haven't spent a lot of time on that. Monty spends more time on the deck than I do because the, the smoker's out there, but we haven't spent a lot of time out there. You don't go sit out in a lawn chair next to him while he, you know, sip some wine while he's tending to the grill? Or is it too no. intermittent? It's probably too intermittent, but uh, we've sat in the driveway while the kids play outside. I just haven't sat on the hmm. on the deck very much. I need to change that. I need to change that. Why? Why? If you're naturally drawn to hang out in the driveway instead, and you enjoy that, just do it because you feel like you're not using a key feature of your house? Yeah. I think that's it. We just haven't... should take advantage of it. Yep. A deck's a good time. You got a pretty big deck? Pretty wide deck, Kate? Um... I don't think I've ever seen pictures or anything of your deck. Yeah, I it's it's nothing special, I guess. It's a deck. It faces <laughs> our neighbor's garage and walks down to the backyard. So even if we sat on the deck, we couldn't see the full backyard 
Um, you would just see the neighbor? Yeah, pretty much. Toying around and his or her garage? His or her garage? No, it's like the wall of their garage. Oh, the side of the garage. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, would this be uh, Mark and Gail's house? Yes. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, not Chad and Anna, not Gene and Kim, not Kevin and Valerie. Mark and Gail. Got it. Mark and Gail. Yep. We're supposed to have a, uh, oh, what's it called? Fire pit. Chili by the fire pit tonight. Oh. At Gene and Kim's. Damn. That sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Chili by the fire pit. Yeah. We're supposed to, uh, I think I'm supposed to bring a dessert. Oh. But somebody's already bringing cinnamon rolls. So. You think you're supposed to bring a dessert? Yeah. Somebody's bringing toppings. Somebody's bringing a side. I think I got delegated for a dessert. So bring cornbread. That's not dessert. That's trash. Remember, we <laughs> talked about this. It's garbage. I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, but it is kind of. Would like you dessert. call that a dessert? It's kind of desserty. Yeah, it's sweet. Oof. It's kind. Of, it's dessert adjacent. I mean, like cinnamon roll can be dessert. Is yeah. it not? Do you. You know, I I agree with you. Yeah. Because it's good. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, because I've mentioned before, I've never had a cinnamon roll with chili. I've never been presented the opportunity. Yet, look at you. You've got neighbors who are of the same mind as you. Yeah. With the cinnamon rolls. I think uh, we're not the only ones, Matt. No one's going to bring cornbread, you don't think? I don't know. Huh. I Yeah. Who's making the chili? I think Gene and Kim. Uh, of course. Since they're, they're hosting. It's their, they got a new... Um, fire pit and some landscaping done in the backyard. Exciting. So, Are they the ones with yeah. all the pumpkins? No, Mark and Gail have a lot of pumpkins. Mark and Gail are also the pumpkins. Okay. Yep. I bet you Kim makes a mean chili from what I've heard about Kim so far. I don't know. <laughs> no? I, I don't see it be, being very spicy. Kim doesn't seem like she's got, or is she... You think Kim can handle a spicy chili or is Kim just trying, do you think Kim would be just trying to accommodate people? She's worried that maybe the other chili connoisseur, the other chili consumers wouldn't be into it being spicy. I think that's probably a safe bet as a hostess, but I don't think Kim would make a spicy chili in general. You think Kim would at least have some jalapenos around so you could spice up your chili? No. No. I don't think so. Oh. Mm. I don't think so. All right. Yeah. I was going to ask you to invite me, but never mind. Bring your own jalapenos. That's what I think it's. Yeah. If you want a spicy, I think you're going to have to like. B-Y-O-J. Bring your own spice. <laughs> yeah. We're also bringing our own beverages. So. That's good. Makes sense. Here's what I'm going to ask you, though. Uh-oh. Uh, no, no, no. On like a, on a, on a manners standpoint. Okay. I do consider myself a bit of an expert in the area. No, but uh, you're not an idiot. So I think common Thanks, sense. Kate. You're welcome. I'm like, I don't think of you as mad as Miss Manners or anything, but I also think that you can give me some good feedback of, ooh, okay, that's kind of rude. All right. So, okay. I'm excited. So Kim has asked for a head count. All four of our family are invited and she's asked for a head count. And I said, it's probably going to be me and the girls and they probably won't eat chili. So just me. Okay. Do you think that's rude that I'm like, my kids won't eat your chili? I don't think so. I didn't say I think, that specifically. I think chili is something that probably frightens many children. I bet you there are many. I don't, I don't think I ever ate chili growing up. I don't think, I think I was quite turned off by the whole scene. Beans and all. Okay. As much as I am a quite a yeah. chili enthusiast now, and beans are definitely on the plate. Uh-huh. Uh, um. Yeah, but when I was a kid, no, I don't think I wanted anything to do with it. So, okay. I bet you that's a common deal. I forget, Gene, Gene and Kim do have kids, right? Older kids? They have grown children. Grown yeah. children, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so my kids would be the only kids there, and so I'm just going to feed them at our house when we get done with volleyball, and then we'll walk down there, and don't you think that's okay? Yeah, well, I mean, Kim didn't offer to make any mac and cheese or anything? No, and that's, I wouldn't expect her to. <laughs> Oh, mac and cheese is a good alternative to chili if you got the kids around, you know? Yeah. I mean, they go great together, too. Well, chili mac. Hmm. 
You're not you. You're not much of a mac and cheese person, though, right? I am not a mac and cheese person. Okay. No. I did nacho cheese Doritos in my chili the other day because we didn't have any more Fritos. That yeah. was not terrible. <laughs> it was not terrible. Okay. That was not terrible. That was pretty good. Oh, it was pretty good. So this is something you would recommend. Uh, if you don't have Fritos oh, okay. or saltines and you want a crunch, nacho cheese Doritos, not bad. There you go. What yeah. about, uh, you think you could pluff uh, Cheetos in there? I don't know about that. And I was just thinking about plain tortilla chips. You would think that would be a good substitute, but I didn't try that. I went for the nacho cheese Doritos. I'm not sure why. Did you make chili? We had chili over the last weekend. Yeah. Oh. We made chili and chicken and noodles. So To consume dur- during the same meal? Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. We had guests over. You could either, you could have both, but oh, okay. chicken and noodles or chili. So you had an alternate dish. What about uh, Kim? Well, because there was more, like, I wanted the chicken and noodles. Oh, okay. So that's why he made both. Aw. Yeah. Money. I know. Come on. I know. I told you. He's a saint. But it went over really well. Everybody had a little bit of each. So, um, but I would never, um, I, yeah, it's chilly. <laughs> I, uh, if she what? said, can I make something else? I'd be like, absolutely not. We live three houses down. Okay. They can eat something at home. So are you stomaching chili then? Do you not like chili? I like chili. I just, I kind of feel like my kids. I, I, um. Well, I thought maybe you were just eating some chili to. I was uh, eating leftover chili. To, to be, to be cool and hang out, you know? I'll probably do that. Yeah. I'll probably do a little bit, but. I'm kind of like the kids where I'm a little leery of chili that's not our own. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Well, it is kind of hard to tell what's in a chili. What's your concern about foreign chili? I don't know. Monty made it really beany last time, and that is not my favorite. So <laughs> right. if other people, and I like a soupier chili. So Okay, right. Yeah. I like a heartier chili, personally. I And I, I like a hearty chili also. But if I'm going to be picky... I would like a soupier chili, but Monty is pretty much a hearty chili. Oh, okay. He does a hearty chili and I kind of like put a little extra okay. liquid in mine. So he's one of those saints that was like, eh, kind of borderline. Yeah. Just got sainthood. Just barely got it. Cause someone was like, oh yeah, this one time. Just got canonized. Yeah. Yep. He's pretty great though. So close. So close. I know. I know. Uh, lusting after Kate's husband. That's what we do on Matt and Kate. That's what I do for sure. <laughs> ow, ow. Uh, me too. It seemed appropriate at the time. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs>